Hey fitness friends, Dean Lieber here. We're talking about energy systems today. Um, so strap up because this is kind of a hot topic. Uh, it's kind of like Vogue buzzword energy systems. It's like, oh my goodness, this person knows something that I don't know, okay? So I, like, I look like a mad scientist today um, and I love talking about this stuff, but the goal is to be go, go through it kind of quick and make it simple so it's digestible, but kind of pull back the veil on all this like, um, witchcraft or wizardry that is energy systems. So ultimately what I want you guys to understand is that energy systems training is identifying either the system that you need to be good at for your sport or, or a weakness to build and make you more well-rounded and then training that supporting system. Okay, we have three main systems. We'll talk about that in a second. But for most of us, we've seen this graph before and we've seen it um, designated as your creatine phosphate system, is your glycolytic system, and then your oxidative system. Um, those, are, those are great. Understand that the CP, uh, glycolytic, and oxidative, those are abbreviations that are meant to keep it simple, but they're actually, those are fuel substrates, right? So th that's, those are the fuel sources that we're using um, for this. A better uh, way to, to designate these would be, this is a lactic, the p high power one. Uh, the glycolytic one would be lactic, your lactic acid, your gross, right? And then over here, we're just gonna call this aerobic, okay? Um, understand that there's a little line here that separates aerobic and anaerobic, okay? And this is, this is power and then time. Those are your, your uh, axes, right? So your alactic, your high powered short uh, time domain is over here on the left. And then your kind of middle distance, moderate power is in the center. And then long time, short or low, low power output is gonna be over here to the right. So a better way to look at this is gonna be over here. Okay, because what we see here is that it's almost like you have three different dials and one's gonna turn on independently of, of the other one. And that's not how it works, okay? All three of these systems are kind of supporting each other. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna look at this as to say it's two systems, aerobic and anaerobic, that are going to support each other in this kind of gray zone in the center is gonna be your lactic energy system. So um, what we have here is, is percent of energy. So instead of thinking of this as power output, this axis for this one, we're gonna think of percent of energy, okay? Stay with me. This one is gonna be time, time. So the longer the time, the change in the percent of energy. And I'm gonna turn this into a box just to make this easier for us, okay? And this is going to be anaerobic and this one's going to be aerobic, okay? So the longer the time, what we're gonna see is, is if we take a snap, a snapshot in time and this is your, your marathon duration, that the majority of the energy system that you're working with is your aerobic is aerobic, is made up of aerobic, uh, the uh, aerobic me uh, metabolic system, okay? So we're gonna split this up, and this is gonna help us understand, this is short, fast, 10 seconds. This is this kind of gross glycolytic pathway, and then finally over here, this is this aerobic pathway. So what, we're gonna differentiate this by each one. So this is creatine phosphate or alactic right here. This is your glycolytic or uh, lactic energy system. And then this is your aerobic system, your long, uh, slow. So each energy system can be broken up into a power and endurance, boom. Power and endurance. Power and endurance, okay? So when we look at when we look at the high power creatine phosphate a lactic energy system, which we're gonna like, that's the slice of pie right there. And um, we'll use this guy. Oops, there we go. 
we see the, the overwhelming majority of this is going to be anaerobic respiration, right? Overwhelmingly, it's gonna be anaerobic respiration. What's unique about this next pathway is it gets very, I'm gonna use a different color. Hope you guys are enjoying all these colors. This is where it gets weird. It just gets weird because depending on where you are, if you're in the, in the so this is 10 seconds for this alactic energy system over here. It's almost solely anaerobic. We get into this glycolytic um, system, metabolic system, where there's metabolic waste byproducts. We, we hear buzzwords like, um, what do we hear? Uh, lactic acid, duh, right? Lactic acid, acidosis, all these different kinds of things. These, these uh, byproducts that get into the blood or into the muscle or whatever else and kind of make us feel weird or feel pukey. Um, this is that 800 meter run. This is Fran. That, that, those kinds of feelings happen right in here. And depending on where you, where within this, this um, pathway or energy system, you take a snapshot here, uh, it's gonna be more aerobic and less anaerobic. Or if we're over here on the far, the far left, it's gonna be much more anaerobic and less aerobic, right? So we're seeing that no matter where we go in this box, that the energy system that we choose to use is gonna be supported by both aerobic and anaerobic respiration, okay? If we are over here, it's gonna st there's still gonna be attributes of anaerobic as a supporting mechanism for this energy system. Over here, it's gonna be this crazy mix of both, right? And it kind of creates a lot of like a, a, a massively stressful experience for us. Those of you that have done Fran or have done an 800 meter run all out or a full minute on the assault bike as hard as you possibly can, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's what, that's what this looks like. No, no matter where you are and, and no matter what sport, so we can look at this and this is, this is football, right? A lactic endurance, 10, seven to 10 seconds, uh, every 30 seconds they're repeating and being explosive. Boom, again, again, again. That's that energy system. It's still supported by some aerobic respiration. If we go out and we run at 800 meters, it's still supported by some aerobic respiration, quite a bit actually, right? We go run some marathons, it's still supported by some anaerobic respiration. So improve what? What energy system are we looking to improve? So understand, this is not, this is not power, this is the percent of energy that you're using when you're in each of these different energy systems. So what are we looking to improve? For, so for football, because of these repeated intervals, we're looking at alactic endurance. Alactic endurance. <coughs> for CrossFit, it's gonna be well-rounded. You need to be well-rounded in the sport. So uh, a great test actually to under, and we're just testing energy systems. When we start making mixtures where we're adding a lot of like uh, uh, mixed molar work or, or cross.